And hello folks, just adjusting for the sound quality. It's 3rd of July. I hope everybody's enjoying their 4th of July weekend. It's been kind of quiet and slow. And man, is Captain Crazy and crew working overtime this weekend. Uh, again, another state that going to get nuked really bad is Delaware. Yes. Governor and their House and Senate there passed six illegal unconstitutional bills. It's going to get challenged in the courts and probably thrown out. But that's going to take anywhere from five to seven years. And litigation. These people are nuts. What's Delaware solution for food crisis and shortage? Yeah, let's pass some gun control bills. Okay, it's time to kick them out of office, folks. Okay, now first thing is, my second garden's been producing a lot of zucchini and eggplant that I've been donating a lot to. Some I keep, some I eat. Some I share with my workers, some I give it to the church pantry. And a lot of people don't get fresh foods. There's certain areas in our great nation are totally food deserts. So I make sure, that's why you haven't seen me this afternoon, I go out and make sure these people get food. Okay? A lot of people don't do this. They sit at home on the couch watching TV all day. And they say, Uncle Al, you're the palest man ever bringing us a box of food. Nobody ever checks on us. Uncle Alan take care of his flock. Uncle Alan's getting sick and tired of hearing all these people. Now, if you go check out um, David's channel. Um, sorry, David, I forgot your last name. Hey, I have brain damage. <clears throat> uh, uh, shoot. Never get old. I'll do a video for David. He's still stuck at 390. Go over to his channel and check him out. Okay, he's the uh, prepping uh, principal. Because everybody got him mixed up with the other David. Now, we're going to talk about clothing. Okay, I like the 60s fashion. Okay, turtlenecks. I like it if they make a turtleneck in this stretchy kind of synthetic fabric. It's perfect for this kind of weather. It's 100 outside, but it's breathable. And that would be a great idea for a turtleneck. All right, another thing is, back then, most people were better educated and dressed better. Now they look like somebody from a meth lab bus. Don't know why. Again, from food storage, my stock of rice, the bits on top of it, plum flavored, I showed you before in a little jar. Go back a couple of videos to see that seasoning. And then I use frozen meatball, bacon, onions, mushroom also from my storage area, all chopped up with a little bit of bacon and onion. Okay, barbecue sauce, a little ginger, uh, Korean spices because I like a kick to it, and stir fry it in a wonk. Not set up to do this with the camera because my hands are shaking and I can't cook and flip because I have to use both hands. It's a little hard to hold the camera and you're flipping and using uh, <coughs> kitchen instruments. In, uh, utensils, excuse me. Okay, I put down markers. I love the end of the 60s, about 68. That's when everything went to pot and damn brain control started to kick in. Now you see, everybody would tend to be looking smart, well-groomed. Everybody wore a sports coat or a blazer. Or one of these leisure suits we call a jumpsuit. And they wore shoes. Okay? 
Now look at people. They look like something like, oh my God, call the cops. Another homeless person's coming down our driveway. Okay, I don't want to hear people complain that they weren't taught how to dress. I worked as all sorts of things. I told people, you want to go to jail, you dress like that. What's wrong with jeans and a nice sweater? 20 years. Okay, I like tweed. You can't see that. Okay, tweed sports coats, tweed overcoats. Very fashionable if you know how to wear it. Okay. Tweed was back then really big. Also, this comfortable kind of cardigan was very comfortable. Unfortunately, people don't know how the hell they dress nowadays. And it's like, I also like women's clothing, but to study and design because women spend more money than men. Okay. Right here. Okay, this is off the rack, not custom. But look how nice they look. Now, that's a few examples from the Sears catalog of the end of the 60s. As you progress in our time frame, okay, we tend to dress kind of like, oh dear Lord, what's wrong with that person? Okay, if you show up to court, not dressed to the nines, but you dress like, you know, I wear my overalls and clunky boots. Where's Uncle Fred? Oh, he's doing 17th of life in the county jail or state prison. Okay, your appearance is very important, folks. It keeps you from getting shot. It identifies you for your local area. Now, if I live in a rural area, <coughs> he's expecting me to wear jeans, plaid shirt, and have a beard and a baseball cap. If I set that person in an urban area or suburban area, people be staring at him. All right? Uncle Al's retiring. I'm away from rural and going toward more suburban and urban areas. Okay? There's a way to do this. If I have to go back in the field, I wear my work clothes. Okay? Nothing fancy, nothing thrilly. Riding jeans, riding boots, a 45 on my hip or 440, or 45 Magnum. I can shoot all three. I prefer the Magnum better. But like I said, it's now Uncle Alan's going to retire. So I'm going to dress more conservative and normal. If you go around dressing yourself as a homeless person or it's cool or, you know, it's ghetto or I don't really care. I just buy something from Kmart or Walmart off the rack. Wahoo. Okay. That identifies you as is. Now, you correlate with education programs in the United States and people's fashion. They're about equal, all going downhill. Toward 68, most people had a college education or a high school education. A good one. A high school student back in those days is equal to what we consider a two-year AA degree today. A lot of people need remedi remedial training. Okay? I'm not the historian of the group. Crazy old Uncle Al. This is my opinion. If you want to get a good opinion, go see Cold War Prepper. He lived through it. He understands what I'm talking about. If you're trying to get ahead in the world and you say, I could break all the rules and stuff, you better have talent. If not, people first thing they're going to notice you. In other countries, other than America, is your shoes. So you walk in there with white socks and sandals, like our Captain Crazy does. Nobody takes them seriously. Even Putin doesn't take them seriously. Okay? He's a crazy person. Okay? You don't want to dress like a crazy person. 
okay? You want to dress smartly. You want to dress professionally, okay? You show up in the wrong kind of getup. This is why I tell people in the criminal court system, how long was your case? I wore an orange jumpsuit. You didn't have a suit? No. How long are you going to prison? 15 years. Well, that's kind of inter inter interesting. Okay, so think about it. Match up your situation. Know what you're dressed. How it affects their surrounding community. If everybody dressed like a drug addict, then you dress like a drug addict. If everybody dressed normally, you dress normally. Okay? Right now, we're coming to a time period. I keep telling people that nobody watches my videos or listens. We're coming to a time period where it's going to be very hostile. So go check out the... TV series, Peaky Blinders. And people never ever listen to Old One Cloud. I'll be seeing you. I'm going to enjoy a nice, quick lunch or breakfast. Or wait, it's dinner. God, it's after six. Dinner. Probably have a little dessert. I made another cobbler. It's peach season right now. And remember, folks, if you're growing fruit trees, it takes five to ten years. So I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. I'll be seeing you. Bye now.